Can you guys hear me? Hello? Am I back? Okay. Am I back? Hello? Can you hear me? Hopefully I should be back. I'm not sure what that was. Okay, I'm back. It looks like... It looks like the reports are that I'm back. Glad to hear it. Two greater creator 2.0 at least. Yeah, I couldn't tell you. I could not tell you what the final version is. Okay, not sure what that was. Not sure what happened. Never got like a red light on the router or anything. Just a brief, brief little out, but we seem to be back. Thank you all for bearing with. Screen didn't even go black or anything, so it seems to be an unrelated issue to the the brief the brief struggles that I had earlier. But we're back. We're back. So, um, I think this is just disarm and then double tap the headbutt. Yet yeah, the searing blows, the searing blows are overheating the hardware. So double tap, headbutt the armaments and yeah, headbutt the armaments and the pommel strike, because I don't want to draw past Searing Blow if I need to draw into it. Although, if I'd rather exhaust something... Ooh, yeah. Uh... Hmm. I could exhaust like a feel no pain or something. It's not that big a deal in this fight. Yeah, I think it, it's better to get the burning pact. Burning pact and armaments plus. So let's double tap. Headbutt. The Spirit Sparrow says, can we upgrade blow until one hit Time Lord? Theoretically, there's no, there's nothing coded into the game that'll stop you from doing that. But I think playing the card when I draw it is likely to go better. So, Searing Blow will be ready to go. We've got the Armaments and the Burning Pact. Burning Pact goes for, I mean, order doesn't matter here. And then the headbutt. Ooh, maybe it sh Oh, it should have been... Uh, no, actually, no, this is right still. This is still right. Oh yeah, there's a headbutt in there anyways. The Duh. Duh. Um, so, I could play this disarm, but that'll be just as good later, right? What about clothesline? I think three week is a big deal. I'll, I'll get disarmed late. Let's do this. Sorry, Necro. Good effort. Boom. Nine by three. Oh, right. The drawdown. Um, so I might not get the headbutt, but that's okay. Or I can play the armaments now, guarantee the headbutt, but these things don't get upgraded. I've got the searing blow here. That's the upgrade that matters. Let's do it. Armaments. Oh, but then I won't be able to headbutt. Headbutt probably matters more than the armaments does. So I guess I should Burning Pact first, huh? I think I should, should Burning Pact. The thing is, I want to block, too. And I'm not going to be blocking for very much, kind of no matter what. Maybe this is a potion situation. 
This might be a potion situation. Yeah, headbutt isn't guaranteed, exactly. It's a two out of three. So I think colorless potion might be kind of good here. So he says not a bad draw pot. It's just such a high value potion, right? I think I can get similar value out of colorless pot and it's a less high value potion is kind of how I see it, but it is definitely less guaranteed. It's like if it's something that blocks, that's great. Plus it's a card potion that I get to upgrade with Arma. Let's try it. A free mayhem. Um, impatience works. Impatience works. Ah, impatience. Impatience. This is excellent. I, pl I get this. I upgrade it with armaments. I play the Searing Blow, I play the Impatience, get the Headbutt, Headbutt the Searing Blow, take a fuck ton of damage. So there's a little bit of a catch. There is the fuck ton of damage catch. It's not a fuck ton, but it's, uh, it's, 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 it's enough, it's a lot. It's, a, it's an amount of damage. Um, I could also like open up Attack Potion. Pretty sure I do this no matter what. I could also open up attack potion. Um because I can upgrade it. It could be something that blocks. I guess that's really just iron wave. Um guy's already weakened. Yeah, no, I think it's probably right just to take some damage here. So armaments, searing blow, impatience, headbutt the searing blow. Oh, Searing Blow, you're so strong! Bam! Headbutt. The Searing Blow! And you know, take a little bit of damage. What's a little bit of damage between, uh, between me and... me and Tim? What's up, Frag Bomb? Good to see ya. You're here, uh, you're here for, uh... Your good old-fashioned neighborhood busted crown searing blow deck. Just normal stuff. Just being normal. It's like bizarre how normal I am. Um, Armaments the searing blow. Play the searing blow. Headbutt the searing blow. I don't know how to do anything else, chat. I'm supposed to play this power through, but... But... But this... How? How am I supposed to play the power through when I can do this instead? I guess I could save 10 HP. That's tough. That takes a lot of willpower. It takes a lot of willpower. And it's gonna make ten it's gonna make two wounds. It's gonna make two wounds. I don't know. Um I do it. I guess I do it. Uh the self-control challenge. It's the toughest challenge there is. The two wounds pretty early on in the fight seem bad. All right, Cody, that's all I needed to hear. That's all I needed to hear. Armor the Searing Blow. Double that Searing Blow. Actually, I might just kill this guy next turn. With, with Pen Nib? Actually, I do. Actually, the guy just dies next turn. Probably. Yeah, no, he just dies next turn. He just dies. Him's dead. Him is dead to the Searing Blow. Tim is dead. Goodbye, Tim. Everybody wave goodbye to the Tim. Bye-bye. See you next Searing Blow run. On to the next one. Um, double tap Reaper. Holy. Double tap Reaper for three Reapers. Holy. And then take 16. Less holy. Yeah, early in the fight. Never mind. Turns out it was not early in the fight. The fight ended that turn for the next turn, I suppose. Um. Yeah, double tap Reaper is 100% happening. 
And then do I shrug? Do I arma? Oh, actually, I think I arma arma. I arma one arma. And then I double tap the Reaper. That's probably right. Shrug blocks for three more. That's five energy? No, I arma arma. That's one energy. Double tap, two energy. Reaper, four energy. I, I'm not playing both armas. Uh, but I think the best... I think armoring one arma is better than shrugging. I think. I think that's the right... rather than just blocking for three more. So, arma, arma, double tap reaper. Arma upgrade better for later. I agree. The triple reap! One, two, three. Oh, that seems nice. Upgrading Reaper for 3 HP. Oh, actually, though? Actually, that would have been plus 9 HP. Maybe I should have actually upgraded the Reaper there, unironically. I, I, that actually might have been right, Cody. That's super funny. The armor will still be useful later, but, I mean, 9 HP is 9 HP. Um, Offering is here. Searing blow. Searing blow. Can I kill this guy? Let's see. Um, I want to play bash. So I can searing blow, bash, and flame barrier. Um, let's see. Yeah, he's doing 20... So I need to block for 17 more. It's so like, disarm and power through is perfect. Yeah, oh yeah, Espesh is asking about ways to cycle through the deck. Yeah, trance and pommel, and uh, uh, there's a burning... There's a shrug, there's a burning pact. Two headbutts. Normal sized deck? Eh. Mm, that's not the way I see it. This is. I see this is a very small ironclad deck. But I don't know. I feel like. I, I, I haven't watched a lot of Jorbs. And I feel like the people. Oh! Oh, it was a dick joke. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. It was not. It was not. My brow spire strategy at all. It was a dick joke. Disappointed. Um, I don't know. Yeah, no, it's such a highbrow stream, and to debase it like. Uh, if I searing blow and bash, then headbutt gets played, and then also the power through. Or the ghostly. Probably the ghostly. I think that's what I want to do here. Yeah. Searing blow. Bash. Headbutt the Searing Blow. And then play Ghostly Armor. Power through blocks for five more, but makes wounds. I think it's better to play Ghostly there. Um, and I want to find good ways to get rid of these guys. I think I might just be able to kill, kill this guy quickly enough. Could be tough though. Kevo says, do we bash here? After the searing blow gets doubled, I think. But I'm I am i am concerned about the cultists. I'm concerned about the cultists. I think I might need to kill the cultists first. 
You know what? I think that's right. I think I need to kill these guys first and block him for a bit. Because I, I can kill this guy quickly with just Searing Blow, but I don't think it happens quickly enough that I can handle these guys at the same time. This could be a very good attack potion situation. Yeah, Flame Barrier, it's unfortunate that it's not on the multi, but it could help damage them for sure. Yeah, I agree, Kevo, the cultists gotta go. The cultists gotta go. No pacifists here. No ethical gaming this time around. Um... So, I think I'll go ahead and just play the Searing Blow on the Cultist, just to make room for Attack Potion. Oh! So, um, I imagine some of you in the chat have heard about the Chimera mod. I haven't played it myself, but I've, I know at least once that we've raided Papa when he's been playing the Chimera mod, and it's like a mod that allows you to affix different attributes onto cards. So you could make like a, a barricade that has anger on it. Or sorry, not barricade, like I'm just randomly, you, you can make a, a barrage that has the anger property. So like a barrage that you play where it does damage for orb slots and then it makes another copy of itself. You know, you can add attributes like that. And I just thought of the idea of having a lesson learned, like a, a searing blow that has a lesson learned attribute attached. A searing blow that upgrades itself every time it kills. That's what I want. I mean, I guess that's just Ritual Dagger. Wait, that's just Ritual. I, I just made Ritual Dagger. Fuck. Fuck. Never mind. Yeah, I just made Ritual Dagger. God damn it. There's no new ideas, I tell ya. Um... I could just, you know, I don't know why I didn't think of this. I can just headbutt the thing. Yeah, let's just do that. Oh, it means, oh, the bash was the problem. The oh, bash isn't that big a deal. What about that? Now it's not a problem, because I just said it's not a big deal. So... It still is probably a good... I feel like this is probably the most useful, but I'm never gonna... There's not... Like, Bludgeon is like the hit, and Bludgeon does 32 anyway. Bludgeon's like the hit here. You know what? No, I'm not gonna use the potion. I'm not gonna use the potion. I don't think I need to. I don't think I'm supposed to. I think this is what I'm supposed to do. Bludgeon and the headbutt we're playing anyway kills. Oh, uh, that's true, but I'm, I, I, I think I might be able to get better use out of this potion. Hey, what's up, commentator? Good to see ya, hope you're doing well. It, it, it's a potion that I don't have especially high hopes for later. But I think the odds of it doing something later are higher than the odds of it actually helping now. So I'm gonna headbutt. Maybe good in Act 4 Elites? Yeah, absolutely. If, you know, even, it could even be an emergency turnaround thing if that's something that's necessary. Headbutt, the Searing Blow. Spesh says, but Ritual Dagger has an upper limit. You can't upgrade it past the number of enemies you face in a run. You could theoretically endlessly upgrade a Searing Blow with Lesson Learned. Isn't that limited by the same number of possible fatalities? I mean, I guess, well, it's, it's you know, you get your fatalities and you get your upgrades. But I don't think you can get a theoretically infinite number of upgrades. So I think it still would have an upper limit, just a just a somewhat higher one, because there's multiple methods of upgrading it. Oh, with Searing Blow and Armaments, right, 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 you're exactly right. Yeah, Searing Blow and Armaments does not have 
an upper limit. Searing blow better than lesson learned confirmed. It's just the way it is. I don't make the rules. Battle trance. Searing blow, and now the headbutt's here. The headbutt's here. I could take damage, but or I could block, or I'll just do this instead. Headbutt the searing blow. The second headbutt was so clutch here. Bonk. Eight by four. What about searing blow? Um, dang, I wish I had a one damage attack. Hmm. I do, uh, you know, I could I could make an attack that won't be played twice. And make this do a whole lot of damage, but there's not a whole lot of point to it. There's a little bit of point. Yeah, it's probably just an unnecessary use of the of the of the thing. And I may draw Searing Blow anyways and be able to do the pendant then. So this is Rage, Searing Blow, Feel No Pain, Disarm. Blow. Disarm owns. Ow. No searing blow yet. Um, burning packed clothes line. I'm not a hundred percent sure on that. Oh yeah, that's Strange Spoon and Dagger. Well, it doesn't actually change the upper limit. I mean, I guess that it, you know, that, that I, it, yeah, I guess that is part of what the upper limit is. But you, there still is an upper limit with that. Um, weakness is kind of useful. May as well get the Necronomicurse out of your deck. I'm sure that'll work. Oh, yeah. It may be what I end up tar- Well, actually, I guess there's no reason not to target Ascender's Bane. Well, actually, yeah. No, with Feel No Pain, actually, Necronomicurse could be the right target. If I want to keep Clothesline, which I might, then I think Necronomicurse is the right target. Actually, I think it is. I, I, I actually think this is what I'm supposed to do here. I think I want to keep Clothesline. Like, if I don't draw... If I don't draw the Searing Blow, I'm playing Clothesline now for the week. This is funny. I think it's right. Yeah. Boink. Um, Power Through is here. Okay. Yeah, I think this is just double Clothesline and Power Through. Or what about Bash? Double bash and power through, huh? Takes four damage. But it means the guy dies. Next turn. Probably. I'm going with the bash. Power through bash. Boom, boom. Oh yeah, I take one, because Feel No Pain owns. Battle Trance. Actually, no, Pommel Strike first. Pommel Strike first. Gotta get to the Searing Blow. Come on, come on. Um, it's 51, so that doesn't kill on its own this turn. I think I will play the Shrug, because the block is nice, too. Okay, so now it's just Battle Trance. Rage, 
and Searing Blow. Great job, letter opener. Bam! Bam! Take four. Hit the blow. <laughs> this is a funny. This one's pretty funny. Alright, this looks like it could be a good, good attack potion turn. This is a funny, funny little hand here. All the, uh, all the supporting cast of the Searing Blow run. Take a bow, supporting cast, take a bow. You've been doing great. I kind of wish the main character was in this particular hand, but uh, take a bow, you've been doing great. And it's uh, it's attack potion time. Take a searing bow. <laughs> it was the bludgeon. It always was the bludgeon. It always has been the bludgeon. Yeah. That just kills the guy, sure. <laughs> Turns out there was a bludgeon in there the whole time. It's the card I was talking about, the thing hitting. Norbert says blood for blood better, only if it kills this turn. Which I think I would have to headbutt it in order to do that, and I don't want to headbutt it. So, bludgeon better because it kills, and I want to kill. Bludgeon will get upgraded by the armament. Yeah, because this will do 33. Oh, I could play the headbutt first. Let's see. 33, yeah, 13 over the 33. Yeah, I have to play headbutt, but I can just play it first. Yeah. Because as long as I don't have to play two headbutt. And even putting a headbutt on top is actually not that bad, not that big of a deal. It's going to be upgraded by armaments if I want it to be, which I do. So yeah, okay, yeah, 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 that's perfect. So I can just take, there's no way I can get away with Rampage, right? Um, but yeah, the blood for blood, plus the thing just costs zero, there's also that. So that'll be 33, and then headbutt is 12, right? Yeah, so that'll go to 18 in Vulm. So that's a kill. It's only room for one meme card. Sorry, Rampage. I'll catch you later. So yeah, this should be... Armaments will not fuck up this blood for blood. If it does, I will be peeved. It better not. Um... But yeah, Arma and then headbutt the Arma, headbutt the headbutt, and then blood for blood. That's what I want to do. Arma. Headbutt Arma. Headbutt, headbutt. Oh yeah, I could have gotten away with Rampage, but this is better to have, yeah. Oh yeah, did not need to be a bludgeon, could have been a strike. Excellent. Blood for blood. Alright, on to phase two. So I've got Bash. I'll go ahead and Pommel Strike first. Let's see, he's doing 42. Gotta keep that in mind. What's the best way to block this? Power through, Flame Barrier, stuff like that. So I should probably just focus on blocking this turn, honestly. Um, so I think I'll, I will do the Pommel. I think this might actually be... I 
a ga either a gamble or a swift pot. I'm thinking a gamble. Yeah, I think it's Glug time. The question is which. I think Gamble works better here. It is the stronger potion, generally. Um, but I specifically would like to hit Power Through, Clothesline, Shrug, Flame Barrier, two of those, at least. I think the chances of having to double glug are high enough if I just swift pot that I should be gamblers brewing here and just chucking everything. All right, I got clothesline and shrug. So that moves this down to 31 and then blocks for eight. The other option, yeah, I mean, Flame Barrier blocks for one less, but does a lot fewer damage. Shrug has a one in four chance of drawing Searing Glow, which would be very sad. But really blocking this attack is what matters. Um, yeah, I guess I'll shrug first, and if I draw Searing Blow, then I'll do the Clothesline, and otherwise I'll do the Flame Barrier. Because having the Pendant is nice. Nice! Oh, and it's Rage, which makes Clothesline incredibly good. Sorry, Pendant, I'll come back for you later. But yeah, Rage, Clothesline. Excellent, excellent. Get in there, Necro. Nice. Take 13. There's that Searing Blow, oh mine. Now he wants to do 15 damage. Battle Trance time. Headbutt, excellent. Um, I can... Searing Blow, Headbutt the Searing Blow, and Power Through. Power Through. Headbutt the Searing Blow. Full Block. Not a Void! Searing Blow is here. It's ready to go. Armaments is here for the Searing Blow. Armaments. Double that Searing Blow. Um, these do not kill, so I will disarm. And a blow for blood. Now I gotta do 49 damage. <laughs> Double Void! Um, he's already weakened, so Rage will block for 10. What's up, Entropy? How many times has Searing Blow been upgraded? Outside of the deck, I think only six? Yeah, six times in the base deck. But I've got two armaments to upgrade it during the fight, which is a joy. Um... Yeah, next turn I do have Headbutt and Shrug, so I am able to kill next turn. So I don't need to do... So yeah, Bash works better than Clothesline here, since he's already weak. And yeah, I do stay alive, because he's doing 18, and I will block for 10. Alright, so Rage... And then double the bash. Oh, and the feel no pain is clutching. Only take two. So now, yeah, headbutt. 
What do you think? What do you think I had but Shrug. The searing blow for 183. Act 3 is over. <laughs> what the fuck? The searing blow run moves on to Act 4. I don't fucking understand. So many of the decks that I think really hard about and try to employ high-end strategies for do not get as far as this. Asuki, thank you very much for the gift sub. Gifted a sub to Germ. They very much appreciate you following up on that, as of course I knew you would. What a fucking run for this. And Kevo, thank you very much for the Prime sub as well. I really, really appreciate the support. Such a great, such a great run for it. It's not over yet. Not over yet. Very far from it. But so exciting to even have it be here. Thank you very much, Asuki and Kevo, for the support. Two great boss fights, two great fights down. Well, what do you think I'm going to do here, chat? I could rest. Yeah? You think I'm going to rest? Yeah, I'm probably going to rest. Probably that's what I'm going to do is rest. Frozen Eye. Wait, Apotheosis? No, it's got to be the Frozen Eye to actually make this run win. What? Is that? Uh, uh, I don't know. There's a bag of prep. Oh, I think it's Apotheosis is the upgrade card. This upgrades. <laughs> it's the two energy. <laughs> okay, it's not the Apotheosis. But it's a two energy armaments that exhaust. <laughs> Yeah, no, I think the eye is real. Eye of the tiger. Um, I don't think I want to add... Do I want to add a shrug? Shrug, frozen eye is pog. And Kidu says you should get so angry that you see red. Suki says, am I crazy for thinking the seeing red? I don't think it does that much here. I do have a good amount of draw. Pretty short of the chaos pot. Yeah, we'll try. Is the eye good with the draw and headbutts? The, the... I... The eye gets better with draw. Headbutts, I guess, like sometimes you know what's on top of your deck because you just headbutted something, but then you know everything else that's below. Yeah, no, it, I, Frozen Eye is insanely good. Frozen Eye just takes runs that have no business winning and makes them win. Plenty of draw, two cost shit on four energy. It's unupgraded seeing red, but like I might be able to upgrade it, right? So what does the heart fight look like? Crazy that I that, that this is a question that I'm even asking here, but what does this heart fight look like? I've got two disarms. Do I clear artifact well enough? I've got a bash and a clothesline. I don't know about the seeing red. I don't know. Kevo says disarm clears artifact if you need it to, right? Yes, that's true, but probably the main reason I would want to clear artifact is for the disarm. Um, because I'm not blocking too many big hits. Then again, I mean, pay, you know, I shouldn't need to with, with the searing blow, but I think shrug it off is better here. It's one more thing that lets me get the get the searing blow off the top of my deck. 
I think I'm shrugging. Here we go, chat. Holy shit. Searing Blow, Act 4. On the Busted Crown swap. But why? But how? I don't know. Deck order. I remember to use the frozen arm! It's impossible. Um, Searing Blow is here. So if I pommel shrug and battle trance then I get to the searing blow of course then I don't have the energy to headbutt it unfortunately then for the next turn that leaves me with ghostly armor headbutt disarm it's not a lot of block if I can get the searing blow back I can just kill this guy that's actually the way to do this Thanks for the good luck, Borrowed Facts. I think I'm, I'll use the Swift Pot. Oh, actually, no, 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 if he hurts me. No, 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 no. Swift, it would be the Swift Pot. If I Pommel, Shrug, and Swift Pot. Oh, actually, no, 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 wait a minute. Um... Well, okay, if I'm going to Swift Pot, then I might as well... Oh, no, I can't... Yeah, yeah, I could Swift, Swift Pot to here, and then Battle Trance to here. Um, ten cards in my hand, and I've drawn three to here. That gives me one extra energy as well. What do I want to do with that? Could play Shrug to block some, could play Power Through to block some. Do I want to block... Oh, actually, shrug full blocks. Shrug full blocks. Yeah, so that's what I'll do then. That's the plan. Okay. Frozen Eye is so good. So I think the plan is... Swift Pot, Battle Trance. Five cards in hand, I've drawn through to here. Four energy left. Double the Searing Blow. Headbutt. The Searing Blow. And Shrug. We won't draw because the Battle Trance debuff. So then I'm full blocking on this guy. He's already half dead. Next turn I get Searing Blow. He's full dead. I like it. Searing blow. Now headbutt. Cody says I stand corrected on the eye. It's it's just unbelievable. Unbelievable the things that you can do when you know where all your cards are. It, it's just yeah. I've I've learned I've learned to never underestimate the impact it can have. In anything but like a super small, like infinite deck. Like, if, if you have 10 cards in your deck, okay, fine. Uh, but yeah, let's headbutt and shrug. Full block. Cool. Bonk, bonk. Searing blow. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'll play Ghostly Armor. Oh, actually, I don't even... Oh, yeah. Well, do I want it to exhaust? I'm already full blocking. Do I want the Ghostly Armor to exhaust? I think so. Yeah, I don't need to play it. Uh... 
headbutt the uh, searing blow. Stolid Fox says, I know I is good, but I'm not good at fully utilizing it. Hey, I was that way too, but it is just totally worth learning how you can change that. Um, let's see if I can find Twin Strike. Will not do offering. All right, cool. Go ahead and uh, play that double tap. Bang, bang, and uh, all right, there we go. They're gone. Gremlin horn, gremlin horn, from the spire elites. That's a new one. I can't say I've I've had that one before. Thank you, dark embrace. <laughs> I don't think so. Kevo says, Crater converted me on the power of the frozen eye. Yes! Oh, I'm so glad, Kevo. I'm so glad. It is totally worth the time. Absolutely worth the patience. It's it's just probably the strongest relic in the game. Totally worth two and a half hours looking at your drop file. You know I think so. I don't think this Dark Embrace does enough. How many exhaust cards do I have? Disarm? You know, I, 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 have, I have Burning Pack that's renewable exhaust. But other than that, it's two disarms, a reaper, an offering, ghostly armor, sort of, and a sender's bane. I don't think it's right. I think I skipped. Here we go. Is the heart ready? The spy, the spire elites certainly were not ready for that fight. They didn't, they didn't touch me. Will the heart be ready? <laughs> For the Searing Blow deck. Um, open with a shrug, I suppose. It's not the greatest opening draw. Remains not the greatest opening draw, but disarm's cool, disarm's good. Um, so I think this is just Disarm. Save this for potentially next turn if I'm looking for weak or... Well, I mean, weak works this turn, but Balm doesn't. So I think this is just... I don't think I want to headbutt the Shrug. I think this is just Disarm. Um, I guess Rage Disarm for Letter Opener. Cool. Rage Disarm for Letter Opener. Oh, yeah. I get to know everything, of course. Damn it. I managed to... Ref <laughs> okay, so that's how the 100% possible impossible challenge works. The 100% impossible challenge means you can defer it. You can defer forgetting the relic sometimes. But you, you're, it's like Final Destination. It's still, it's just waiting for you. You've only deferred the forgetting. Oh, it's the Searing Eye deck, you know it. Oh, Searing Blow's on the bottom? Damn it, Searing Blow. Searing Blow's on the bottom. So yeah, this is just all about surviving until Searing Blow shows up. So luckily disarms here. That's great for it. Um, yeah, I think it's just rage disarm, no matter what. Next turn I get these. I'll play. The offering.
Yeah, I'll probably play the Offering next turn. So that draws me these 10 cards. I can make it so I get Searing Blow turn 3. Um, I can Burning Pact one of the one of the Power Through Wounds, and that depends on whether or not it's the Multi. Okay, so yeah, this should just be Rage Disarm. A classic Crater deck? I mean, maybe just a deck that is complete bullshit is a classic Crater deck. I don't even mind it. I can't say I've had a Searing Blow run before, but I'm very glad the Frozen Eye is here for it. I all This is definitely my favorite relic. So yeah, Rage Disarm for the Letter Opener. Okay, let's see where those statuses landed. Boom! This is 0 by 15. Already got the... Horn Glit. So... This is the Shrug into the Offering. And then the Offering. A certified Greater Classic. Let's do it. Shrug, and then... I don't think... Yeah, I think I'll save this for the next turn in case I'm seeking weak. Shrug. Offering will draw six here. Okay, there's... Oh yeah, and I've got clothesline anyway. So let's see. So Offering draws these six. And then my energy is five. So I don't need to play any more block. I do want to play Flame Barrier. So sure, Flame Barrier, three energy left. Um... I could Pommel Strike, and then double a Reaper. Oh, that's kind of cool. Pendid Reaper. Seems pretty strong. How about it? So, Offering draw through to here. Five energy left. Three energy left after Flame Barrier. Two energy left after Pommel Strike. And then Necro Reaper with Pendant. And that loses Ghostly Armor, I think that's okay. Drawing three would really be good if I could get past the void, but there isn't a good... Oh, actually, yeah, 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 yeah. I just play Battle Trance. Oh, that's perfect. After the Reaper, I just play Battle Trance. Um, it won't draw past the Dazed, which is a little sad, but at least it'll draw past the void, and that's really good. So Offering first for 6 card draw. I love Offering Puzzle. You just never need to upgrade it, which is great, because I, uh, I had something else as my upgrade priority. I think Flame Barriers, right? It's just a lot of damage. Flame Barrier, Pommel Strike. There's also, I could actually, uh, no. Well, hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. If I do Burning Pact instead, let's do Burning Pact instead so that I can get rid of the... Oh, then I have enough. Hmm. Kevos has got to make sure we have hand space for the trance. Yeah, with the current line, I only have space to draw two. That's why I can't get the Dazed in there. And I don't think there's a way to also get the Dazed, but if I can, then that's great. Borrowed Fact says, if no Flame Barrier, then I can play Feel No Pain, Packed into Dazed. 
That's kind of nice. I'm probably exhausting more cards. I don't know. How much damage is Flame Barrier? Or it's 60 damage from Flame Barrier for two energy. That's pretty big, but that's not like... Let's see. And actually, actually, no, 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 wait, there's even, there's a better, there's even better, there's even better. If I just, instead of doing Pommel Strike, do Burning Pact, then I already can get the Dazed. Um, because after Flame Barrier, there's nine in my hand. Burning Pact, there's nine in my hand. Then Reaper, eight in my hand, and then I draw all three with the... Battle Trance, so I can still get the Flame Barrier off. And that way I'm exhausting, you know, I'm burning a wound, which I think is a big deal. So let's do that. Burning Pact, a burn. It's in the name of the card, I guess I should. Burning Pact, the burn, Flame Barrier. Yeah, burn over wound, yep. Burning Pact, the Burn, and then Flame Barrier, and then Reaper. Yep, exactly, because Reaper already doubles into Nib without it. Exactly. The only sad thing is I am weak for the Reaper. It's still probably worth doing. It's a good time to get it out here. Like, I could double something like Clothesline. You know, Clothesline is not too bad here. Do I, would I, do I care more about, even if I'm not doubling it, maybe like playing Clothesline instead of Flame Barrier? Like 60 damage does play. Suki says, how are you blocking next turn? Yeah, I mean, my draw next turn is these. So basically with my face, is currently the play. So clothesline sounds strong. Yeah, the damage doesn't matter as much as the block does. And if I double the clothesline instead of the reaper... Hmm... Warweak is quite strong. But, doubling Reaper is also quite strong. But let's see how, how strong is doubling the Reaper. It does three into weak. It's nine, right? Doubling Reaper with Penda that only heals for nine. And because it's doubled with Beat of Death, that's like five. I mean, I don't know. It, it, it will still be nine HP because I'm blocking here. But like, this will save a lot more, I'm pretty sure. Like, I think I want to double this. It could even be both here, right? Because, you know, so that's only playing the Reaper for three. I might just not play the Reaper at that point. I don't mind saving the Reaper for when it actually does something useful. So I think I might actually do Clothesline and Flame Barrier here. Um, so Clothesline, Flame Barrier... And may maybe I still don't do the Flame Barrier and I draw more of other stuff. But I do like the Armaments, Searing Blow, Headbutt thing that I can do next turn. Just doesn't block a lot. Sparfox's Flame is 75 damage. I think it's, yeah, it's not upgraded. So it's only 60, but that's still a lot. It still is a lot, but I do... I mean, this is like... It's gonna damage cap, pretty much. Can I draw more bullshit? Maybe there's something else here that's even more useful. Let's say I double clothesline, I burning pack to burn. So I've got three energy left and I've drawn through to here at this point. 
to here. I've used the pen nib. Bod says, what are we looking for with attack pot? Either Voln on demand or potentially artifact clear on demand, I think are the two most useful things. There's also, you know, a little bit of like pen nib manipulation possibilities. Um, Iron Wave, yes! So, I can play Feel No Pain. I could play Slimed Feel No Pain. How about that? It foregoes a bit of damage. But just a bit. Um, hmm. Yeah, so 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 the the two lines I'm really looking at right now, I'm deciding between Flame Barrier for 60 damage next turn, or ex play Feel No Pain and Exhaust Slimed. Cody says, yeah, damage damage for Flame Barrier is next turn for damage cap. So if I upgrade the Searing Blow, I'm pretty sure the next one is like 72 or 73, something like that. So doubling that, it's like 145, like the middle there. So it still does a lot of, it, it's kind of close to the cap, you know, and with headbutt. So so it, it, it basically, it means it'll do like, it'll do like 40 to 50 damage instead of 60. Is how much the, the, the flame barrier will do like 40 to 50 damage instead of 60. So it's getting capped a little bit. I think... So does that damage play more or getting Feel No Pain and Slimed out of the deck? I think Feel No Pain and Slimed out of the deck is what I want. I don't know if I'm deluded about that. Getting the status out of the way seems good. Yeah, and, and, the, and the power. I think that's right. So let's do it. Double the clothesline. Burning Pact. The burn. Battle Trance, and then Feel No Pain Slimed. Gotta sear them blows a lot. And to do it quickly to win, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Although, although, I will say, if I damage cap next turn, then that means I can kill... Oh no, it doesn't. That would be five. Oh no no, if I damage cap next turn, that means I can kill in three turns if I'm damage capping. Am I really gonna damage cap in three turns? I don't think so. I don't know. It could totally be the case that I'm supposed to be prioritizing damage cap. Let's say I don't. Well, what do things look like if I don't damage cap? Clothesline, it still might be enough, right? Because clothesline gets doubled. That's 27 with the pen nib. Then Burning Pact, boom, Letter Opener, 32. Hey, we got Monk Oom now, hell yeah. Um, and yeah, none of these other stuff are attacks. So 32, so this guy goes to 757. Bigger Baby says, the heart is a lonely hunter. Do people still read that book? Unfortunately, I don't. 
I don't. What's a book? Yeah, I'm on, on, I'm unfortunately on that wavelength, Norbert Noodle. Um, so yeah, 757 left. And then the Searing Blow is already doing... With the headbutt. I will be weak, though. Ah, you know what? I'll be weak next turn. Actually, yeah, yeah, you know what? Oh, no, 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 no. I don't even damage cap next turn. Because... Because I'm going to be weak. I think I'm going to do the Flame Barrier. I think, I think I need to prioritize speed. It is a race. I think Flame Barrier matters here. So I think this is the Clothesline, the Burning Pact, the Flame Barrier, and the Battle Trance. Ian says, the Searing Blow keep armaments and apotheosis upgrades from during the match? Unfortunately not. Yeah, otherwise you could just literally farm it infinitely in one fight. So, double Clothesline, Burning Pact the Burn, Flame Barrier, Battle Trance. Lombe and Battle Trent. Cool. So, yeah, he really wants to go in that. Armaments, the searing blow, searing blow, headbutt the searing blow. I'm go I'm I'm doing I'm sticking to my roots. I'm sticking to my roots. Bump bump. My roots. My roots are on fire. Don't worry, Asuki, I survive. I survive. Not with a lot, mind you, but I survive. Not by a lot, but I survive. But now, if I, I can potentially kill in three turns. Rage is here. Will, will Rage show up? Oh yeah, so I get to see the draw from here. So let's see, so I've got the armor, I've got power through. Um, so yeah, I'll armor searing blow, and then rage searing blow, play the searing blow, I won't do power through. The next turn I have flame barrier disarm, so hopefully this is like uppercut or something, and I can clear two artifact and then Disarm can get in there. I think that's what it comes down to here. And then where's the next Headbutt? Oh no! Headbutt, no! Headbutt, no! Headbutt, why? Come on, guys. You know, fellas. Um, yeah, you know, fellas, I need you to not do that, fellas. That's not good. Still, I will stick to my roots. Attack pot, do you have a headbutt inside? Um, yeah, what do I need to use attack pot for? I think it still has to be for artifact clear. And then using 
Pommel Strike and Battle Trance to draw the following turn. Uh, this, is, this is a tough one. Borrowed Fax says no weak this turn could be good pot. Does it matter? If a, if a, I need to survive next turn and be damage capping. Mr. Man says, I checked in on the other Spire streamers. They're having the most meta boring decks right now. I'm happy we have the true Searing Blow deck on display. There are times, you know, there is a times I absolutely get punished for it, but I just can't help but click on the silly shit when there's, when it's better than usual. It totally fails me sometimes, but sometimes it actually works out and it's so enjoyable for it. Yep, exactly that order of operations, Izuki. It's just a question of which is which. Um... The question is, do I need headbutt this turn? Reject the spire orthodoxy. We are heretics. So no matter what, I need to survive next turn. I think the only way that I survive next turn is if I am able to use the disarm after clearing artifact. I, I, I think I need the attack potion to clear artifact in order for... in order to survive next turn. I think if it's big hit, I'm screwed. Ooh, borrowed faxes matters for something like headbutt power through. Yeah, I could headbutt something like a power through, but does that even survive? Like headbutt power through doesn't survive the big hit. So I think, I think that'll, hmm. Mr. Man says, if I could change anything about the game, I would make more of the silly shit actually viable most of the time. Yeah, it's, there's a lot of shit like awe and searing blow and stuff where it's just like so rarely viable. But I'm, but there, one of the things I do love about Slay the Spire is there's lots of, lots of silly shit that is viable. Like the Pandora's box is really, really strong and the dead branch is really, really strong. And I like that there's overlap between those two, but yeah, there's a lot of silly shit that's just very fringe to get anywhere on A20. Hmm. So I think the only way I win is if it's the multi next turn. And if... But I, but I need it to be the multi and I need to damage cap next turn. I need to somehow do both of those things. Because, like, this will be two strength, so it's going to be four by 15, weakening to three by 15. So I would need to block for 45. I mean, that's just not happening. I am... I am currently not seeing a line where I survive next turn. Luckily, I can get to close. Oh, you. Oh. Oh. It survives one more turn. I haven't found a line that solves my problems yet. I found a line that solves one of my problems. There are still other major problems, but Burning Pact gets me to clothesline. 
doubling clothesline clears two artifacts. Then disarm lowers the strength. Um, I still am facing down one by 15. I still am facing down one by 15. And that is using all of my energy. I don't have a way to draw another one this turn. In my hand currently, at least. So that would be the way to do it. But yeah, that's using all of my energy, and that just takes 15. So I would need to find block in the attack potion. Isn't really a good way to do that. Iron Wave will not quite cut it. Um, there isn't an attack that can grant me energy. Don't have Vuln, so I can't get energy from a drop kick in the potion or anything. So I may still be at where I was before. I may need to be banking on Uppercut in the Draw Potion. Um, if, if I had a way to block the 1x15, yeah, that's, that's just the problem. Lend Strength down and then plus 2, so it will be 4x15 goes down to 2 by 15 with the the map the map hmm 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 let me factor that in um yeah so that the the disarm there isn't an easy way for me to upgrade the disarm can't get it with the armaments or anything. Yeah, if only the flame barrier was free. If there was something that could make the flame barrier play for free. If only this... I actually did get rid of a power... I, I, I got rid of a power potion for this attack potion a while ago. And actually, if I had a power potion and could grab corruption right now, then this could potentially be a solve, which is really funny. Um, so yeah, you know, in complete, in complete hindsight, I guess power potion was the stronger hold rather than something to fish for Vuln, but I'm not going to blame myself too much for not knowing how to optimize this Searing Blow deck in terms of those potions. But yeah, it would be nice to have a Power Potion now, potentially. Um, because there's just no line that I'm seeing that blocks even a disarmed multi-hit next turn. And that's a big problem. If I headbutt Power Through, does that do anything different? Cody said, what did we get out of Colorless? What did we get out of... Oh yeah, it was an Impatience that drew into... Um, it was Impatience that drew into a Searing Blow at like the perfect time. Um, if I were to headbutt like a power through or something, it still wouldn't matter. It takes... it specifically takes four energy to clear the shit with this clothesline. Oh, you're right, Cody. Yeah, you're exactly right. The attack we swapped for power let me beat Awakened One. That's your... Thank you, Cody. I got this in Act 4. You're 100% right. I got this from the Spire Elites. You are 100% right. The colorless let us, let us beat Time Eater. Yeah, I think that's right. And yeah, this is a fresh attack potion from Act from Act 4, so never mind. There was no missed optimization. Never mind. At least not yet. Not that I know of yet. But yeah, I don't currently see a line. 
I don't see... a line that survives act... that survives next turn without this clearing artifact. If I can find a way to either survive the multi next turn or survive the big hit the following turn, then I can use the attack potion to potentially win. But I need to find, I, 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 don't, I don't think there's any way to win if I can't do one of those two things without the potion. I need to survive one of the two oncoming hits. And the one that seems more likely, you know, there's not a whole lot of block in the deck here, or just, you know, generally. Um, what seems the most likely is to find a way to block this, but it seems like there just isn't anything there without the potion. And I do think it was right to do, like, the, the, the fact that I have a chance to win if I do this in three turns, I guess maybe because... Yeah, I, I think that was right, because now I have... So I can, I don't, I don't necessarily have to deal with the big hit, right? I don't think there's any actual way to block the big hit. I think I should basically rule that possibility out. So I need next turn to be the multi. There's already a 50-50 here and I need to be damage capping every turn. I need to damage cap every turn and I need to survive the multi next turn. And I can use, I, I can do one of those two things using the potion, but I, I need to be able to do one of those two things without the potion so that I can use the potion to also accomplish the other one. I don't see myself damage capping next turn without fishing for like a headbutt or something from attack potion. I can't really get through enough of my deck, you know, I can burning pact, I can pommel strike, I can battle trance. I can get to battle, I can get to uh, I can get to the searing blow on turn three like, two turns from now, but I don't think I can next turn. I can't get to the headbutts. Mr. Man says, I know we're having a very intellectual conversation, but I only just now noticed the crown and nearly spat out my drink. Yeah, this has been an insane run. This run has been the goofiest piece of shit. <laughs> like, I tried to get... I was having trouble getting, like, legitimate runs off the ground on the previous... Like, this wasn't the first run of the day. There were runs earlier today where I just tried, like, normal cards like a normal person, and it didn't work. And then this fucking busted crown searing blow run is the one that's here against the heart. Although it doesn't look like it's gonna work out, unfortunately. Yeah. I can't damage... Can I damage cap if I don't like headbutt this? So let's say Searing, Searing Blow gets armaments, it gets doubled. I'm here. I can draw to here, draw to here, draw to here. Like that's cool. I can get here and then get to my headbutt and do shrug shit. But... That doesn't damage cap. I think this is probably one of those, one of these situations where I'm, I, I, I... I'm I don't get the feeling that there's an out here. This doesn't feel like this is something where there's and out hiding somewhere. Yeah, bottom decking these headbutts actually really, really hurts. Having one of these two headbutts around here 
I'm still not sh the, the, like this deck has a very legitimate chance if one of these two headbutts is like in this range. But I don't think this draw order does. Yeah, and, and there's there's no chance I. Yeah, I've got three options even. I've got three options, and I just need to be able to do one of them without the potion and one of them with the potion. Let's block, block the multi next turn, block the big hit the following turn, or damage cap each of the following three turns. I don't have to do all three of those. I have to do two out of th the three. I have to do one without the potion. And I think there's no way to block the big hit no matter what. And I think it requires potion for me to survive the multi next turn. And I also think it requires potion for me to damage cap. I don't think there's any ironclad attacks that just fucking turn everything inside out, upside down. Does like a big ass reaper, does does pen nib pen nibbing things change stuff? Don't think so. Yeah, does doing some shit with double tap reaper with no strength, I really don't don't believe it does. Hmm. I need like the reverse. I need the reverse body slam. I need the card that turns my damage into block. Um, I just don't see it with these headbutts at the bottom. I don't think this works out, unfortunately. Just check through my relics, make sure there's not something I'm sleeping on. Paper crane, where? I could... I could rest with 15 extra HP. Yeah, if... if I mean, I'm not gonna be able to, like, bash Reaper and stuff. If only I had all the energy in the world. Probably time for me to, to to go out in a blaze of glory. I've, I'm looking in every nook and cranny here, try to find a line that can survive next turn and damage cap, because there's just no way otherwise that I win. But I don't see anything that can do that on four energy. Clothesline. Yeah, if this disarm was upgraded, it's actually a completely different question, which is very interesting, but obviously I'm not upgrading disarm. Upgrade disarm when I could be upgrading 
uh, burning or a fucking uh, searing glow, I uh, chance. Tungsten rod where? So the question just becomes, do I want to use attack potion to eventually get like headbutt this turn or something? Um, sure. Sure. I'm just going to try to get as many searing blows as possible off at this point. I really don't think there's any point to potentially trying to survive one more turn if I can't damage Cap. So I think it's time for that blaze of glory, chat. I think I've done my due dil diligence. Don't think the line exists. So I will armor the Searing Blow. Rage. Searing Blow. Do I want to see what's in here? Sure. I think it's time. I don't think there's anything that saving it for next turn can do. I can clear artifact, which is cool. If, if it was uppercut and it cleared both artifact, and I can play flame barrier and disarm. But it's not enough. Yeah. I'm just going for it. Alright, let's see what's here. Whirlwind, Iron Wave, or Twin Strike. None of those were gonna save me next turn. <laughs> Background, Ziggy sounding off like he does. Okay, so who's, uh, who's on board? Doesn't really matter. I guess Twin Strike does the most damage. Of course, I'm going to arm of the Searing Blow. It's the only way to go. Unfortunately, it is a way to go. It's the way it has to be. Searing Blow. Pop, pop. It was very, very fun while it lasted. It was a ton of fun while it lasted. But it wasn't built to last. Put the flame barrier up for the damage that I can. At least make him hurt a little bit on the way down. And down goes the ship. GG chat. So much closer than I thought this run would ever go. So much closer than a searing blow run should ever get. Unfortunate to not go the distance, but a damn joy. A damn joy to bring it this far. How did it do double damage with the uh, Necronomicon? This Necronomicon made this all possible. 66 attacks doubled. Yeah, the, nec the Necronomicon, I don't even know if you can call it the Dark Horse, but the Necronomicon was the most important supporting piece of making this Searing Low run work. Super, super strong that I got that. What a fun run. What a fun run. GG, everybody. Always, always a bummer to not see it close out against the heart, but if there's ever a time to just feel happy that I got there. I think this is that deck. I think this is that deck. 
The Busted Crown. Searing Blow plus seven run. P box and that's the the craziest thing to me is this is I don't start doing searing blow until act two. <laughs> this is a searing blow that didn't start. There wasn't a searing blow in my deck until act two, and I just said yeah sure let's do it and it fucking worked. Down to two HP against against the book of stabbing. It was all calculated. And yeah I don't. I, Again, I don't want to sound too much like, you know, I, I, I lost. This is a losing run, but uh, as far as Searing Blow runs are concerned, I got a big old, big old smile on my face. I'm happy to take that one as far, as far as it went. And that, and, and I've learned, I learned some things about a Searing Blow run, so that the next Searing Blow run will close it out. The next Searing Blow run will be even better. Guaranteed, right? This is just what all Searing Blow runs are like, right? 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 Yeah. Well, GG, everybody. That was a super fun one. Super unique run. I'm going to find somebody to raid out to here. But thank you all so much for joining me. Hope you guys enjoyed. I have a feeling I know a lot of you did. The Busted Crown Searing Blow run. Half, did I get half damage against the heart? Oh, it doesn't say how much damage I did. I think I got the heart below half. So there's that. Good stuff. Good, good stuff. Fucking love it. Love the searing blow. Busted crown. All right. GG, everybody. Thank you very much for joining me. I'll be back tomorrow for some... Uh-oh, my computer's kind of glitching out again. If I will try to raid somebody, I may end up having to just turn my computer off and may not be able to raid out. I will try to raid out. Um, but thank you all very much for joining me. I'll be back tomorrow, 3 p.m. PST, for Silent Runs. So I hope to see you all there. Let's see if I will be able to raid here. This is looking sketchy. You can do it, computer. You can handle it. Hey, what's up, Nastia? Yeah, you just missed a searing blow run that couldn't quite get it done versus the heart, but made it to the heart somehow, which was uh, a really fun experience. Yeah, a busted crown, a busted crown boss swap searing blow run. Probably won't be seeing another one of those for a while. <laughs> All right, let's see who to raid. Looks like missed Psycho Cell again. So it looks like we'll be raiding Papa. Let's go say hi to Papa. Oh, it looks like he just finished up a, a run. But hopefully he'll keep going for a bit. I think he usually stays streaming a bit longer than this. So let's go say hi to Papa, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for Silent Runs at 3 p.m. PST. Good night, everybody. Hope you loved the Busted Crown Searing Blow nonsense. I know I did. Hope to see you tomorrow for the Silent, 3 p.m. PST. Good night, everybody. And that's it.